Gwen Ellis. When the gallow wood cracked and knocked beneath me, I didn't lay my body against the crisp floor or fold or spill salt in their name. I didn't do much at all. Days before, my breath had caught as he kicked and convulsed, recoiling from willow sap smeared with self-sure fingers across his dreaming brow. He's gone mad, they said. Rigid as a lamb slipping from the womb, young limbs contorted, he lay gasping and quivering, his mother wailing my name. Gwen, Gwen. Even then, I didn't curl into the crevice of his sweat-soaked knees or hide in the folds of his bruised eyelids. I didn't rock as they called for their god. Yes, he greased. I refused to pray. When they flaunted the press symbols like fat black flies buttered on the page, I didn't let the ink stain my skin or wallow in the crumpled wings. Ox arms bundled my frame, rough palmed, familiar as night. And I smelled iron, curdling and hot. I didn't flinch at the heady clack on clack of the bolt. Through the window, slit like a watchful eye, the wind howled the note of my last breath, clean as organ pipes. Damning. I whistled with it. I waited. Outside, I stared into mouths wide as caverns, their words whipped away by the smack of cold air. Slack-jawed, their tongues lolled in the milk-light, limp as nooses. When the gallow wood cracked and knocked beneath my feet, I embraced the softness of clean fabric, imagined dancing myself into darkness. I fell.